Hey everybody, Jimmy with the Triple C Collective here for another Toy Box Treasure toy comparison. Today we're going to be talking vehicles. We're talking the NECA van and we're talking the Underground Arsenal van. The UA Underground Arsenal van and the NECA Turtle van. That's right, you know, I uh, figured might as well since I've got them both, might as well do a toy comparison for us here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the uh, turtle van comparison. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and dive into the UA turtle van and the NECA turtle van comparison. So what we're going to do, starting with the uh, tops here, we're going to talk about the tops. So let's go ahead and talk with about the UA vehicle here. Now with their cannons here, pretty sweet actually that they actually just kind of come in and out and you can pull them in and out like that um that's i i really like this feature whereas with the neca ones they're one length they're able to move up and down just as awesome as the ua and everything else is there um <clears throat> but the one thing i don't like is that neca you can take them apart this is just like two you know pieces that pop in there it makes me worried about snapping if people don't always have these things up out on display or anything kind of worried that these pieces could end up getting snapped by people playing with them or whatever something like that whereas something like this you just go in and out you push it in and out like that and you call it a day um, so that's pretty sweet the satellite dish here on the top does not move at all does not move at all in the UA van. However, for NECA here, they at least allow the top of it to spin. So on the NECA van here, again, let me go ahead and show you this. Goes ahead, spins at the top there. So that's pretty sweet. Um, next thing that I'll show you is the roof. Now here's the roof of the UA van. This thing is huge, it's ginormous. As you can see here for the UA van, when you open it, up the door actually gets caught right here and that's your like stopper for the uh the little spoiler here that's your like stopper for the door so that's actually pretty neat um you can actually take on the ua one you can actually take this off it's got two pieces or two spots right here that these go into these two pieces also are able to be um taken off as well here so um, but yeah, the UA van, here's the spoiler. Again, let me open up the top here. I actually really love the top opening on this one. Let me move the neck of one out of the way here for a second. I really love the UA one here. It, it looks beautiful. It does, it's such a great job. It opens so well. Overall, the like hump as well, not that bad. It's actually a pretty decent looking hump compared to like what we saw originally especially with that NECA one like I know a lot of people are like what are you talking about but like the those first ones were like pretty pretty rough for that NECA one um was not a fan did not really like it at all and uh so I actually really liked the hump of this one the UA van is just huge this turtle van here is just huge overall with the UA but that hump that hump looks beautiful I love it I love it it looks so good it's so great. <clears throat> so, with that being said, let me go ahead and show you how the NECA van opens here compared to the UA van. Now, the NECA van opens all the way. As you can see, at least here with the spoilers on the NECA van, you don't get the blockage here. Which I like, I like it on the UA van, but I also like not having it here on this NECA van. It works very well not having it like that. Part of the reason that I personally wasn't a super fan of the NECA van when they first showed it was the spoiler here on the top here. This stuff was not, it was like obnoxiously big. Whoops. Gotta move it over here so we can see it. And, but yeah, this spoiler here was like super huge. Not a huge fan of it. It was really big, and since we're up here, might as well talk about the hump. Love that they redesigned this hump. This hump is so much better. 
on the NECA van than what it was when we originally saw it and uh, when it originally came out. So I'm super stoked that they went ahead and redesigned it. It was worth the, the extra weight in, uh, in my opinion. So again, the NECA van opens up here, looks great, awesome. The weapons here, the little blasters, the laser blasters work, but they are they come apart. You can't push them in to make them smaller like you can with the, U, with the UA, the underground arsenal van, which is something I do like. And of course, the antenna here, the little satellite dish rotates. Okay, everyone. So now I'm going to go ahead and pop out the passenger side uh, doors here. So we'll start with the UA van here um, as I like to do if I actually can I even do this right there it is ah. okay so the UA van as you can see here let me move this neck one just a little bit this UA van here has the Gatling gun and the laser gun kind of already pre-mounted on there which is like incredibly awesome in my opinion. It is something that I truly love because in the NECA van, once you get the seat set up onto the, once you get the seat set up to like this right here, it, uh, it doesn't come apart, or at least I've been unsuccessful in having it come apart. And so that has been kind of a bummer for me, if I'm being honest here. And, uh, so with that, I really like this on how it's already put together. It is a simple one piece thing and it folds up perfectly into there already. Now, as you can see here, we've got really nice hinges here on the, uh, on that front door. Um, going to be honest. Yeah. Look at that. These hinges are actually what I got to say are a lot freaking better than the ones that we've got on NECA. NECA's door here, um, when you open it, it automatically sags. It automatically sags because we have... It sags. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it it sags. And so that that's no good. It's not what you want. Um, for, for your door, whoops, as I just hit the camera, but like, you can totally see it just sagging there on the bottom and everything. Like, that's just not what you want. You only see that we've got the one hinge in here, um, in it. And with that, like, you know, that one hinge, not good enough not good enough not keeping it stable enough like can look at mine it already looks kind of bent and stuff um i'm not really happy about that i really wish that they had given us something a little bit better on the uh, hinges of the doors especially for what we paid here um now the ua van again they've got like that that dual hinge going there and that's a great hinge. There's no sag, there's no lag, no nothing like that on their door. But there is absolutely no sag, as you can see. There's no sag whatsoever on that door. It looks great. So that's the passenger side door. Let's go ahead and check out now the driver's side door. Um, these things are really great, driver's side door, just simple little ramp, actually, if we're going to be honest. There's nothing um, too crazy there. You've got the, like, fire hydrants and stuff right here. You also got, like, a little bit of the uh, tech walls and everything in there, which is always great to see those things and see all of that. Um, you know, I just love any little additional things that they'll give us on any toy, vehicle, whatever. Um, front door, again looks great pose is awesome it uh it's great it's great looking it um i really love this it looks great it can it, it's huge it's ginormous as i'm sure you guys have seen but these are the uh passenger door or the driver's side door here then of the ua van we've got all of this this is looking excellent 
You've got the door, as I said, super loose hinge. Be careful when you're opening them because you definitely don't want to break it. And even this top portion here, also kind of flimsy. You want to be careful of it. Um, so again, here's the side passenger doors. Unlike the UA van, you know, for me, I've got to always put the seat on here. And then I've always got to grab the gun because I take the gun off. And I put the gun then on there. And there we go. Now this overall just looks awesome. Like, I really love this. I need to close that front door though. But look at this. That's great. Like that really does look awesome. It looks so good. It scales so well um with the NECA toys and everything like i really like it um I, I i do like this despite me not being able to figure out a way to take this piece from this piece apart i like it a lot i do like the chair um i have actually found that these bottom portions here i don't know if they're supposed to but they have definitely come loose for me and that's how i've been able to slide my figures in and out of it and then just rehook this little leather um like little piece up to it um back up in there so that's what i've done with that i'm gonna detach all of this stuff now driver side door NECA van love it again i like this redesign of the spoilers and stuff like i get that it needs to be or of whatever this is called the whole spoiler thing um on the top here i love it but i love that they changed this um i love that they changed the hump of this here for NECA um again the doors hinges as soon as you open them are kind of flimsy be careful be careful now on the driver's side door if you guys had seen the uh, unboxing that i had done for the van over the weekend um you'll see on the driver's side here we get just the special collapsible laser gun that we have and just the door opening um, obviously on this back wall here you can put either the tech wall or the battle wall you know put the battle wall back there or put the tech wall back there and you know figure out what you guys are going to do next for all of that it's all really great beautiful awesome stuff um so yeah this is the driver's side stuff of the NECA van um i really like it the one thing i don't like about the doors to the NECA van are the hinges on them because they're they're kind of weak they're kind of flimsy um they're kind of tough to you know work with it's it's not super easy um this next thing though we'll go to is the back doors here both the NECA and the ua van both have their back doors that open up and give you full life and visual into the van itself and this is pretty great i really love it um these these are actually the hinges back here are actually probably some of the strongest hinges that i have had to deal with as of yet it has been kind of amazing to see um, these back door hinges actually be as good as they are where the other ones have been um, super flimsy um but overall back doors to the uh to the van here um for the NECA turtle van really like it let's go ahead and uh move this over into our underground arsenal van now let's check out the back doors here as well now our underground arsenal van is really awesome it's a really great um van it's a really great piece man i was so happy i i got this when i did um ooh, this will be tricky won't you because i don't have nails um so do the next best thing then go in through the roof push it out there you go that's usually what i do when i have an issue with the door on any one of these um whether it be the NECA one you know right here or the underground arsenal one here if that if i if i have access to the top i'll open up the top and then i'll pop it all out that way um again back doors show you the whole thing back there in the van now with the underground arsenal van they don't actually give you removable parts per se like the uh like the battle wall or the tech wall 
um, for the NECA van. But they do give you some pretty cool setups, you know, right there on that back wall that I kind of showed you. And then over here on this far back wall as well, we also get um, another like computer setup for that. And then of course we've got right here and right here set up um, on the UA van, very similar to what we have on the inside of the back of the NECA van. Okay, um, so I've shown you the top, I've shown you the doors, and now finally I'm gonna show you what uh, some of the figures look like um, with next to both of these uh, next to both of these vans. Okay, everyone, I am going to go take us on a little adventure to show you how everything looks with a, with a figure next to the vans here. So I'm going to take a step back here. That is April in between both vans. Now, in the UA van here, I have Raphael, Turtle in Disguise. In the NECA van, I have Donatello, Turtle in Disguise. So let's, uh, I wanted to give you a nice little picture, especially with the doors, them standing next to each other, April in the middle there, to kind of give you an idea of what they look like. Here's the UA van. That's Raphael. Raphael is extremely loose in there. Got a lot of room, lots of room in there for Raphael and everything. And yeah, check that out. So that's him, Raphael, UA van. That's 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 basically what I wanted to show you guys is how he looked right there like that. He looks great. Um, <clears throat> he does swim in it a little bit. We've got Donatello right there, nicely sitting there. He's way closer. You know what? I probably shouldn't have had him in his turtle in disguise suit. So I finally got Raphael in there. Moved him in there. This is how Raphael looks inside. Again, the NECA van. Got my extra light there, because we're zoomed in trying to get him. But yeah, so that's Raphael. He looks great. He, it, the sizing of the, of the figures in the NECA van compared to the UA van, huge. One thing I do want to say that I am disappointed about all of the vans on is that all of these vans None of them, neither of them, have the black cartoon lining on it. And gotta say, pretty bummed about that. That none of them have the black cartoon lining on it. And it's a, it's a bummer. Okay, everyone. So this is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this uh, Toy Box Treasure comparison of the UA Turtle Van to the NECA turtle van i am jimmy with the triple c collective i want to thank you all for joining me here today uh, please like and subscribe to our video and to our channel hope you all stay safe and as always cowabunga